Hi, this is Mike from Crypt Tutorials, and today we are going to check how we can convert our old BTT tokens to BTT old and BTT new. Also, we are going to check how we can uh, transfer those tokens in TronScan and we can convert them from BTT to Tron in order to take them to an exchange and exchange them at any moment. So let's jump into the video. First of all, we are going to go to uh, download a new plugin, which is the Tron link. So if you have a Chrome uh, compatible browser, you can go to Chrome store and find the Tron link app so you can download it and install it. Then you can see that a new window has gone there and uh, you can pin this plugin and you can start creating an account to TronLink. So this, is, this will be your password. So you put a secure password there in order to continue and start your TronLink wallet. So it's that easy and you are ready to go. So the first thing is having TronLink installed. The second part is to go to wallet.bit.io and you will be presented with this screen. Once you click on the button, uh, your Tron uh, will open your Tron link wallet will open and then you can click connect now I'm having my ledger wallet uh, in the external device so I need to confirm that it will read my wallets if you only have Tron link uh, created a new wallet then you don't have this step so if I go there I can create a new account I can verify it in my ledger wallet and then continue I will put a name there and it's already done. As you can see, I have a wallet and it's it has $6.7 inside with uh, TRX tokens. It reads actually my ledger device and the address is inside my ledger device. And I can see there my collections and everything else that I have in the wallet. As you can see, it was unconnected and I will click to connect it. And when I click there, I click got it. And I can click again the Tron link in order to connect with my Ledger wallet. So if I click connect, it connects with my Ledger wallet. And I can see that inside there, there are available 4,500 tokens of BTT old. And I want to convert 1,000 of them to BTT, which is the new token of BitTorrent. So when I click confirm, I need to confirm this on my ledger device. And once this is done, I will confirm the pin with my ledger and then open the app in the ledger, which is Tron, in order to verify the transaction. And then you can see that the transaction has been submitted. And right now, and BTT old and BTT are in place. I have 3,500 3, BTT old and 1000 BTT. So 1000 BTT old is 1 million in the BTT new. Now if I go to TronScan, I can click on TronScan in order to, to TronLink in order to put my password inside. So I can see that my TronLink has been connected with my ledger. Perfect. So I can see my uh, assets on TronScan. So I can just see that I have 2,500 tokens here and I also have 1,000, 1 million tokens of BTT, which is the new. So for, as you can see, one is in TRC10 and the others are on TRC20. So the new tokens are on TRC20. So if I go right now to Tron swap, swap, I can swap those tokens to TRX so I can take them to whatever exchange that I want. So I want to exchange 1000 BTT, which are the new tokens, to TRX. As you can see, it's this small amount. And I confirm the transaction in TronSwap. 
and I sign this transaction to approve it. As you can see, the fees are quite high for this amount, but this is just for example. So I, as you can see, I need to approve that. Let me do that again because I need to sign the transaction on my ledger device. So when I click sign to approve, it goes to my ledger and I need to open the Tron app on my ledger so I can put my pin and sign the message. As you can see, the transaction has been signed and I right now have my TRX tokens. So on this wallet, I would have plus 0.035 tokens. So as you can see, everything is done. The swap has been completed and I'm ready to move my BTT tokens to anywhere I want because they have been uh, transferred to TRX and I'm ready to go. This wallet now has TRX tokens and the TRX tokens can be exchanged everywhere. Thank you for watching. That was another video from Crypto Tutorials. I'm Mike and thank you for watching.